Tokyo Disney Resort has a ton of new stuff coming in the next few years. We've got two new hotels and we have three new original lands coming to the world's best theme park, Disney Sea. Let's have a look at all these plans and how the construction is coming along in this April 2021 update. Hi guys, Ju here for Independent Guides. Before we get into the video, remember to smash that like button and click subscribe to help support the channel. Right, so we're going to start off at Tokyo Disneyland before we head over to the other bits. And I just wanted to tie up one loose end. So a few months ago in September, Tokyo Disneyland had a new expansion to Fantasyland. And the flagship edition here was a new Beauty and the Beast trackless ride. But just a couple of days ago on the 1st of April 2021, a new theatre for this land opened. Here are some photos of the new Fantasyland Forest Theatre. It's got this great rustic feel to it. Everything looks handmade. It looks like it's all made of wood. Disney's done a fantastic job here. And Tokyo, of course, has very temperamental weather. So a proper indoor theatre like this is very welcome. That's it for Tokyo Disneyland. We're going to head over to Tokyo Disney Sea, the world's best Disney theme park, I would say, and see the progress on the expansion and on the new hotel that's coming here. So the expansion is still a couple of years away. So that means any time between April 2023 and March 2024. Tokyo Disney Sea will be getting a brand new port and this will have three separate areas. There'll be a frozen area, Tangled and Peter Pan, as well as a brand new deluxe hotel, which will be the most luxurious the resort has ever seen. This new land called Fantasy Springs will be connected to the rest of Tokyo Disney Sea with a brand new pathway between Lost River Delta and the Arabian Coast. When you come into the land, you'll be greeted by this beautiful spring or waterfall, and then you pass through into a much wider open area, and this is where you have the three different themed lands. So what's coming? Well, starting off with Arendelle World of Frozen, this area is going to have one major attraction, which is a boat ride, and this is going to be a modified version of Frozen Ever After from Epcot. It's rumored to be called Anna and Elsa's Frozen Journey. So this will probably have a slightly different layout as this is a new building. It's not a retrofit of an old attraction like the Epcot ride. Plus there's going to be a major new restaurant in this area inside Arendelle Castle and lots of shopping of course. The Peter Pan area will have a Neverland ride and in this one you'll be able to fly in a boat. We're expecting this to use the same technology as Soarin and Flight of Passage so this could be a screen based attraction. Peter Pan's area will also have a Pixie Hollow section and this will have either a flat ride and possibly even a meet and greet with Tinkerbell and the other fairies. And finally, we have the Tangled Area. You can, of course, see Rapunzel's Tower here. And the main flagship ride will be a boat ride again. This is a gondola, and this is going to be a romantic boat ride. You'll see Rapunzel's best day ever as you visit the Lantern Festival from the film. So that's what's coming, but let's see how things are coming along. This photo from January 2021 shows an aerial view of the whole of the Tokyo Disney Resort and this is where the expansion is going, just here essentially between the two parks. We can cross-reference this with a maquette of the area, which Disney revealed in a really quick clip from a Disney Plus documentary and we can see that substantial progress has already been made. We have a Google Earth image from January and we can see the layout of the land quite easily. Here is Raging Spirits and the flying carpets at Disney Sea. This is where the new path will be. This section here houses an important access route, and this goes into the backstage areas, and so the rock work will be hiding this access route from the guests, and also is what separates this land from the rest of the park. As you come in on the left, the Peter Pan ride will be here. The Pixie Hollow area is here in the middle. Continuing clockwise around, this is the new Fancy Springs Hotel. This is the North Mountain, which will house the frozen boat ride. This will be Arendelle Castle, where you can eat. And this is a new Tangled area, which will also have a boat ride. But this boat ride, looking at this layout, we can see that it uses a continuous loading and unloading system in the same way that, for example, Kali River Rapids does, or Le Pays des Contes de Fées, or Storybook Canal Boat at Disneyland Paris. So this looks like it's going to be a revolving turntable with the boats possibly connected to each other. Fun fact, by the way, I worked on the Storybook Canal ride at Disneyland Paris. So looking at the progress, we can see all aspects of the land have gone vertical. Here's a look at the huge show building from the Frozen ride. As I said, most of the show building will be inside the North Mountain, so that's what we're looking at the back of here. The actual show building is externally complete, and these metal parts here are the frames for the rock work that will create the mountain. 
This next photo shows the Arundel Castle dining location, which is clearly far from being finished. And moving on to the Peter Pan area here, we can see the mountains, we can see the volcanoes of the area, they're all going up in place, they are covering the huge show building, and this is going to house that Peter Pan flying ride. We can see from the scaffolding that this is a 10-story tall building, which makes sense if we believe that this is using the same technology as Flight of Passage, then we need somewhere to house those huge screens. And finally, here is a look at the Tangled area. We are expecting all the fantasy springs to open together at the same time, so everything seems to be running at around the same pace. The show buildings are done, basic rock work is done. We can see the air ventilation systems are in place on the buildings, but these buildings are very likely to be empty inside at the moment. And we still probably have at least another year until we can really see what the elaborate theming on the outside of these buildings looks like. That's what really brings these worlds to life. We can also see the structure for the Fantasy Springs Hotel. It's complete from these photos here, at least externally. Not all the details, but just the structure. And we have one final quick project to check on, and that is something that's actually opening up this year. That's the Toy Story Hotel, and this will be Tokyo Disney Resort's first value price hotel that's actually on property. They do have a hotel, the Celebration Hotel, but it's not actually on the property here. And here are the construction photos then from a little bit earlier this year of the Toy Story Hotel. The main thing I'm taking from this, honestly, is actually how disappointed I am at the architecture. The building is very tall, so they're making the most use of the land, but that cladding on the outside is not great. Personally, I prefer the design of the other Toy Story Hotel, which is based in Shanghai Disneyland. That one does look a little bit nondescript as well, but I do think it looks better than this one. But this is all a matter of personal preference anyway. Of course, this hotel is not finished yet, so there's probably going to be more theming coming at the ground level. Even the roof is still being worked on, as we can see here. So in the next few months, we'll find out how this has turned out. Now let me know in the comments what you're most excited about about this whole project here. For me, it is the new Peter Pan area. It reminds me of the Skull Rock bit at Disneyland Paris in Adventureland where I worked on Pirates of the Caribbean there. Plus this new deluxe hotel looks like it's going to be fantastic. I am kind of curious to see what they're going to do with this Peter Pan ride though because if it ends up having a minimum height limit, which it will do if it's using that soaring system, then that could be something that's really not going to go down well with families. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. My goal is to reach 1000 subscribers as soon as possible. And when we do hit that goal, I'm then going to be able to dedicate more time to this channel. So if everyone who's watching hits the subscribe button, we'll get there in no time. I publish Disney, Universal and other theme park videos on here, including construction updates, news, reviews, history videos, rumours and more. And every like on the video really helps as well, so please do that, it's completely free. If you're planning on visiting the Disney or Universal theme parks in 2021, do check out my guidebook at independentguidebooks.com. If you're visiting Tokyo this year, then also check out my guidebook to the city of Tokyo. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.